the last frontier. This phrase evokes images of a new and exciting life waiting to happen. To me, it means the American diaspora. Throughout the past six years, as an undergraduate student, a presidential fellow, and now a graduate student at Yeshiva University, I have been learning how to meet the diverse challenges that every newcomer faces. At the same time, I have been learning how to keep my drive and enthusiasm focused on my core mission here in the USA, to learn about the most influential Jewish population outside of Israel, the American diaspora. My work as an explorer of the diaspora has met with some success and some struggles, and has given me many opportunities for improvement and growth as an educator. Most of all, my exploration of this last frontier has helped me understand the essential core of all exploration, the importance of process, not just the product, and the necessity of the journey, and not just the final destination. Understanding the significance of process in one's life has been acknowledged even by our sages. Let us look at two examples. Masechet Avot teaches us an insightful Mishnah by Rabbi Yehuda ben Teima. He says, Ben Esrim Lirdof, when we are in our 20s, we pursue. Ben Shloshim Lekoach, when we reach our 30s, we are mainly preoccupied with maintaining and retaining what we have acquired. And for that, we need a special strength. This Mishnah disperses the life of a fellow Jew over stages, mainly divided by decades, to state that every stage has its own importance. Another beautiful example about the, the essence of process is reflected by the predicament of Chet Ameraglim. The Bnei Sachar suggests that one of the reasons that the scouts provided a false report about the land was because they became very concerned over the idea that the nation will lose its spiritual level while establishing a new civilization in the land, in the promised land. These imminent delegates could not see how a physical land governed by humans could also be holy. These people did not have the appreciation for the essence of process. The Hebrew language also exemplifies the essence, the importance of process. The word for process in Hebrew means tahalich, and this word stems from the root hey lamet chaf, halach, to walk. We walk through every stage. We walk to feel and appreciate the process. We neither jump over nor skip. This is tahalich. Another example from Hebrew. The word for history teaches us that our past and present are firmly connected. The word is tolada, and this word stems from the root vav lamed dalet, valad, a newborn. That is to teach us that our past is not something we archive, some, something we visit from time to time. Our past and present are linked together. At every beginning, while we struggle with a challenge, we must be in the moment to recognize and appreciate the process. At every time of completion, of celebrating achievements, we must reflect on the journey, on the process, on what it took us to get to the moment of celebration. Part of my process is realizing that there is something to being in the moment and appreciating that perspective. Whether it is preparing a unit of study or participating in a seminar, every stage could end up being a pivotal and exciting moment for me. Remember that what connects yesterday's labor to tomorrow's achievement is where you are right now. Recognize the process. Be in the moment. Observe and appreciate the journey. And who knows where your last frontier will take you.